Hi everyone, my name is Michelle White and this is my tutorial on the player application. Now this player application really allows you guys to manage the players individually, sort of one by one. Um, as you can see up here, we do have some of the same functionalities that you can find in the dashboard. You can refresh it right here, you can reboot, and you can get a screenshot. Now down here on the left side, you guys, this is where you sort of fill out what the player name is, the building, and location. Now one thing we really encourage our clients to do is to take the time and fill this out. I know it's very tedious, but it comes in handy when you and your team are sort of digging around or, or doing whatever needs to be done within the CMS. Um, when you have something labeled correctly, it just makes it a lot easier for you to sort of manage. Um, down here where it says assign alert configuration, that's actually where we assign our emergency alerts. So we definitely have clients who sort of use another software or third party to basically pull in alerts. Universities are usually the big uh, clients that do this. And this is actually how we would assign that feed uh, to your player. Now down here below, this is the player configuration. This is just obviously giving you a little bit more detail on that particular player. Middle side here, or the middle column is kind of how I refer to it. Um, the make and model, of course, in the time zone. And then sort of we have this daily software restart and this daily hardware reboot. So sort of what is the difference? Um, as a default, the software is always going to be enabled. And essentially what's going to happen is during this window, your player is just going to refresh. Kind of think of it as like a computer, right? You just sort of refresh it or sort of restart it quickly. It goes down for a second, kind of loads back up. Now the reason why we always have that enabled is because we're constantly making updates and it's really important that your player and sort of your signed version is always staying to the latest and greatest. Now recently though, we did have some clients who wanted more of a hardcore like reboot, you know, completely reboot the player and then sort of reboot it back up. Um, the reason why they wanted that is just essentially they wanted to clear their cache every single night. Um, again, it's completely up to you uh, how you sort of want to establish that or how you want to do that. Now that is not going to be enabled as a default, okay? So you'd have to sort of manually go in there and sort of turn that on. And, and again, this is how you can sort of generate when you want that to happen. Now the third column here, sort of our last column, um, really basic stuff, you guys, just the resolution. You know, obviously if it's a vertical, we're going to sort of change this rotation here. And then last and final, guys, we have this monitoring. So this guy is always going to be enabled. And essentially what it means, it serves both parties here. So the first thing is, is that it is recording sort of your player's logs. Um, it's always sort of monitoring how your player is communicating or sort of reacting. Um, that's information we get internally. So if something happens to sort of your player and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, something's not, you know, something's just not right. Um, our support team can sort of go in and sort of read and sort of analyze those logs. Now on your end, what this does is that it can shoot you guys an email when the player goes offline. So again, this guy is always going to be enabled as a default, but essentially that is what it's for. So that's the end of our tutorial. Um, if you guys are sort of curious about what this stream schedule is, there is another tutorial that sort of tackles that. Otherwise for today, this is, um, this is the edit on the property, pat or the property tab. Um, I hope you guys have a great day, and if you guys have any questions, definitely give us a call or email us. Thank you.